is Ken, and we're with uh, Norman Gillespie, old friend, Transparent Video Systems. And you've ran into a very unique problem um, out in the real world, uh, whether DSL or fiber-based. Some operators with IPTV systems are finding that their set-top boxes just don't have quite the oomph to uh, to uh, transcode or to deal with multiple program streams. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that problem and, and how you guys solved it? Yeah, well, what happened is is that uh, we, you know we've had uh, we've been doing uh, high definition transcoders for some time now, and uh, we've continued to uh, cost reduce them and get more and more performance out of them. And we had a customer call up, and what they wanted to do is they had a had a problem uh, with their set top boxes, and uh, they were hitting the set top boxes, uh, and they were IP set top boxes, and they were hitting with a lot of bandwidth and the set top box just couldn't just couldn't handle uh, the the, uh, the street the, the streams and the bit rate coming to the set top box and so by using the transcoder we can take high definition 10 12 19 megabits and transcode that down to six megabits per second and do that artifact free it, it really performs extremely well the other thing that the encoder can do we can do standard def and high def simultaneously we could also do multi-screen out of the same same box even with the same programs, or you could actually transcode multiple programs at the same time. So, in this one as in this one application, the customer actually had 21 off-the-air programs, and they needed to transcode those down to six megabits per second. And uh, you know, we could do that all with just uh, three boxes, and uh, very, 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 very cost-effective. I don't think there's an, a transcoder on the market today that can touch it for price. Yeah, and the the whole thing was uh, these were set-tops that were out in the field, the legacy boxes, uh, HDVR type of uh, uh, products where you wanted to you know stream in a couple of programs at the same time you're watching another one and as I understand it there just wasn't enough processing power in these kind of legacy boxes right yeah that's the, that's what the customer told us and uh, and, and that's the case I but there's also just uh, you know standard uh, DSL circuits where they just don't have enough bandwidth mm -hmm. on the on the lines themselves so uh, we're we have this box it's just IP in IP out it's very easy to set up um, it can also do you know HF or live streaming, it can do uh, multiple program transport streams or single program transport streams. It can, and it can also do the reverse of that as well. Uh, so it's it's quite a box. So Norman, tell us about the capacity of the unit. Oh yeah, this the capacity of this unit. Right uh, as we set it up for uh, this one transcoding application, it was it could do six high definition programs. Um, you could do about eighteen standard definition programs. And if you're doing, say, something that, uh, that you're going to put on an iPhone or maybe an iPad, it, it's possible to get up to maybe 48 programs all in the same box. Yeah, and so really, I mean, what you're looking at here is, is a, a highly specialized uh, computer that is optimized for encoding right that's right yeah this is uh, this is running uh, some special software that has been optimized the uh, software in the box has been somewhat dumbed down to actually make it easy for the operator to use but actually there's four or five hundred parameters that can be be set uh, you know uh, in the uh, in the transcoder itself uh, we can we can uh, do cropping uh, we can change the aspect ratio we can do watermarking lots of different things can be done depending upon what the operator wants or the user wants it to uh, to perform yeah, and one of the things that impressed me was the fact that you didn't have to send someone out there with the box. That's correct. Yeah, we just uh, we just sent it out there, and we can log in and manage the system remotely um, and change all the parameters on the fly. And it sounds like it has uh, application beyond the head end and, and probably into the data center as things move into this multi-screen world. Yeah, that's right. We have another activity going on, which is called TV Direct, where we're actually broadcasting uh, multi-screen or transcoding on the fly for, 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 for customers that don't want to do their own transcoding. And so we needed some uh, a pickup device out in the field to where we could do the tran either encode the programs in real time and bring back one, two, three, four, five, six programs and use a standard, uh, a standard DSL or cable modem or whatever uh, and pick it up, get into the cloud, and then bring it back to our data center where we can transcode it further and distribute it for, the, uh, for these customers. So it becomes kind of a mechanism to uh, do transport using the IP. That's right. It's exactly right. And uh, so, you know, we don't have to, doesn't have to be, it just be, it doesn't have to be a lockdown uh, bandwidth. It can be bursty in nature and, uh, and we handle all that f just fine. And so this is a product that's available today? Or? Yeah, it's, it's available today. It's very easy to set up and, and uh, get running, and uh, we can deliver, you know, hundreds of them in, in a month or so, you know, depending upon how many you need. Well, Norm, uh, Norman, thank you very much for your time.